for me, it's competitiveness probably. I want to be the top. I want to be right up there with everyone else, so you're constantly being driven to get out there and, and make sure things are ticking along and the production is as high as it can be. You know, you've got your mates who are farmers and you, you're always having a bit of banter, you want to be doing things better than them. Not that I am. <laughs> I'm Harry Dallatour and this is my fiance Kate and we're sheep and beef farmers in Flemington. We've got two and a half thousand recorded Romney stud ewe flock and about five and a half thousand commercial ewes. We've got a couple of hundred breeding cows. Depending on the year, we finish half of the stock and sell the rest store. Kate and I have been back here for just over five years now, probably running the place for about three of that. I always wanted to come back to the farm and be a farmer. I'm lucky enough to have a family farm which I can carry on the tradition of, of running. Since I've been back, every year has just been completely different. Yeah, it's challenging at times, but I can't really imagine where else I'd be. I definitely wouldn't have an office job. <laughs> back in the 60s, my grandfather had a vision of breeding a sheep which would be bred under harsh conditions and be able to perform well for a commercial farmer. A few years into it, him and my father thought they'd go down the road of breeding parasite resilient sheep. So no adult sheep ever receive a drench. The stud ram lambs go through a drench resilience program, which they're going through at the moment, with the aim to end up with about a third of them at the end of the trial that have been undrenched. And those are the animals that we're trying to identify and breed from further. Most of these lambs here will be going off to American markets where they are marketed quite well. GMO free, antibiotic free, raised out on the green, lush grass. And they are pushing that well over there and I think they are seeing a good response to the marketing. But that's a small portion of the market and a lot of people in the world do just see farming as concrete pads, tuck a ram down their throat, antibiotics driven right into them. We just have to push our story and make sure that we are farming the way we are portraying ourselves to be farming. Show the rest of the world how we are doing things here.